This number four right here is giving us a lot of flack. It's hanging up, uh, hanging knots in the bill hook. And if we keep bailing and keep cramming the hay to it, it'll finally pop the knot out. But sometimes they gotta get back here and pop it out. So I think, I've got a good mind if I've got one on the truck, I think I do, to change that wiper arm. Hey guys, Larry the tractor guy here. So we're out at a uh, guy's feedlot this morning and he's got a problem with an L341. And basically what we got going on is we got a knot hanging up in the number four knotter. And sometimes it's random, sometimes it's pretty consistent, depending on how big our windrow is. If we've got a really, really good, decent windrow, it does a pretty good job. But if we get in a thin windrow, we're probably gonna hang up a knot in number four knotter and so we've made some adjustments on it in the past and haven't had much luck and so what i've ran into before on that on l340s and l341s is if the wiper arm is warped a little bit and i'll show you what that looks like real quick so this is a wiper arm for an l340 and or an l341 and if this part of this wiper arm gets warped any at all then it will kind of throw this wiper arm somewhat out of time and not wipe the knot off the bill hook. Not do a good job of that. And so the result of that is you got a knot hung in the bill hook. And if you go long enough on one of these balers with a knot hung in the bill hook, you get a warning on the display telling you that you've got a knot hung. And I'll explain that to you up on the baler here in a few moments, how that sort of how that works. But we're gonna go ahead today and install a new wiper arm on this baler because i believe that'll probably solve his problem and uh, we'll make an adjustment on that as well when we install it so we'll look at that up on the baler and i don't want to crawl around all over that this morning you know what i'm saying you probably can't see that you know with the naked eye um, I'm sure you could do some sort of a measurement and figure that out, but I have changed a lot of these wiper arms when it's given this problem and and fix that problem with the knot hanging up in the bill hook. So right in that area right there, the wiper plate's kind of sitting somewhat out of an angle of the bill hook in relationship to the bill hook. Mainly what would warp a wiper arm is if the wiper arm was ever adjusted too tight and it came across and hit that bill hook really hard and it is pretty tight right now. It's probably a little bit tighter than it needs to be. If you want to check out an adjustment, a quick adjustment on that wiper arm, I've got two different adjustments. I'll, I've, I've talked about it in another video. And uh, if you want to look at that, I've got a video out there about adjusting the knotters on an L340, which is exactly like the 341. And there's two procedures for that. There's a procedure in Service Advisor that actually gives you a spec on where to, to adjust that wiper arm. And then I've also got a field adjustment too that I like to do and my field adjustment sort of like this so I like to raise the knotter up about like that in that position and drop it and if I drop it and that knotter goes all the way back down to the home position then it's too loose okay so when we raise that up and drop it it should stop just about halfway across that bill hook in other words the friction of this wiper plate against that bill hook it should stop about halfway when we do that. Now that one is pretty, pretty tight, probably a little tighter than what I would like it. And we've been having trouble with this knotter, so I mean, I'm sure that's why they tightened it up, trying to trying to cure their problem, but it's just creating a bigger problem. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, change that wiper arm out. Okay, so we've got a, what we've got here on this, on this wiper plate is we've got a bolt that runs through there through the knotter bracket, okay? And so we've got a bolt that runs through there that this wiper arm pivots on. So we basically gotta take and get an Allen socket in that, uh, in that Allen bolt, which is a little tricky to do with these grease lines in the way. Hold it there and then we're gonna hold the bottom side with this 24 millimeter wrench, okay? And try to break that loose. And I'll show you something else that's pretty important about this in a few minutes. If I can get that loose. OK. 
Yeah, that thing's tight. This is real fun at two o'clock in the morning. If you know anything about the hay business, that's usually when you're working on these things a lot of the times. About two or three o'clock in the morning. That's why we have these handy lights up here on the bottom of this door. And these magnets up here to hold your parts. There's also, that's a 14 millimeter Allen socket there for that bolt. Okay, so we'll go ahead and thread my nut off here here on my magnet so I don't lose it. It's up here. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you here. So I can get that off of there. I usually have my pocket knife, but I broke my pocket knife the other day. A little tip here about this little shim. Okay, so this shim plays a pretty important role of where this wiper arm sets in relationship to this bill hook. Okay, and so I've seen this happen a lot of times. Um, guys got a lot of wiper plate wear and a lot of bill hook wear. And then what I find is, is somebody has had the wiper arm bef off before and didn't remove that shim off of the old wiper arm to put on the new one. So there's no shim there. So this thing's just kind of floating and really loose there. Causes a lot of wear on the bill hook, a lot of wear on the wiper plate and or the wiper arm and uh, cause a really quick failure of that um, of that wiper arm wiping the knot off the bill hook We've got a thick shim that goes against the bracket and then you've got a thin shim that goes on the wiper arm well they both pretty well fit on a spot on that wiper arm there you can see that both of those shims kind of fit over the shoulder of that of that wiper arm so pretty important to remember to get that in there when you're putting one of these on so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this wiper arm or this wiper plate all the way off so that it's not gonna have any drag against the bill hook right now that way we can move this and get it sort of where we want it to be before we tighten back because it can be a challenge to keep those in the right spot when you're trying to tighten that what i like to do before i just really tighten that and also there is a torque spec on this nut by the way and i believe that torque spec is right around 70 foot pounds uh, we're not going to use a torque wrench today because i've done this so many times i can kind of tell where my torque needs to be but before you torque that down kind of look at your shims there and see if you have a little bit of slack in between your wiper arm and the bracket, okay? Because the shims can kind of get out of place. And then so you would find that it would be really, really super tight right there right now because I've got the nut pretty well bottomed out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. That's about 70 foot pounds, give or take a little. So now we're gonna make instead of making the book adjustment i'm gonna go ahead and make the field adjustment on this on this wiper arm today show you how that's done in the field so in the book there is a measurement of of friction that you want between the wiper plate and the bill hook I'll show you with my screwdriver so right in this area you want about a quarter to three eighths of an inch of drag so what that means is is when this when this wiper arm comes across that bill hook you want it to catch friction about right there. So field adjustment, what I like to do, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like if it's loose. So if you're checking them in the field, a real quick check if you're hanging up knots in, in, the, in the bill hook, okay? And, and so if you're hanging up a knot, the second knot, let me, let me rephrase that. So we're talking about the second knot um, in the bill hook. So if you've got a second knot hung in the bill hook, you wanna come up here, pull your knotter assembly up like that, and just drop your knot or something. If it goes all the way to the home position like that when you let go of it, then it is extremely too loose. I'm gonna raise it back up. We're gonna loosen these two eight millimeter bolts. And we're gonna run that wiper arm up there and kind of get it in a good position here and hold that wiper plate against the face of that bill hook. Okay, and then we're gonna just tighten these up 
just about like that. Okay, it's still pretty loose. See, it's still pretty loose. I've got a little bit of drag there, but pretty loose. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna loosen the two eight millimeter screws. I'm gonna run it back over there a little bit closer to the bill hook. So I've made that adjustment there and we're kind of pulling that nodder up and letting it pivot there and it's stopping the nodder from going to the home position. So that's about how tight we want it. Now, if you look over here on this side of the face of the bill hook, you can see I've got quite a bit more, I've got quite a bit more area right here, okay, uh, than what it shows in Service Advisor. But I found out that this field adjustment works quite a bit better sometimes. It's been a really, really super dry year out here in Southwest Oklahoma, baling hay. And so we've had a lot of trouble with dust. And if you can see that, it's just caked in there. Really good uh, practice is to get, a, get your air blower, blow this complete nodder assembly off every day if you're fighting nodder problems. And that'll alleviate a lot of knots hanging up and not and miss knots and that sort of thing i would never use water never use a power washer on it i would always just use air air seems to work about the best and we really don't want to get this wet all the time with with a lot of water so if you get a knot hung in the bill hook you get a coat on the display and it's hung and you need to stop first thing to do is stop the baler come back look see if you've got a knot hung in the bill hook and if you do you can take this flathead screwdriver run it right down in between the snout of that bill hook and twist it and let that knot release out of that bill hook, just like that. Just, just twist it like that, open it up, and the knot will pop out, okay? Now, if you come in here like this and you pry on that hard enough, then you can pop the roller off of the end of that bill hook or break the snout off of the bill hook. Then you're replacing the bill hook in the field. A lot of people don't understand what's going on up on the display. So when you get a knot hung in the bill hook, the way you know that up in the cab on the display is by these sensors, okay? So these sensors are connected to that slack arm on the other side that I was moving up and down that the twine runs through. So if a knot is stuck, then that twine arm is gonna stay down because it's got a knot hung in the bill hook. Okay, up on the display, it's going to show a long bar and then all of your other knotters are going to be normal position. Okay, so if you keep bailing that way, eventually it'll give you a code and tell you that you've got a, a knot hung in number one through four, whichever one it is. Okay, and so that's how that happens by that sensor right there. That rep represents your one through six on your knotters. Okay, so as you're bailing, these little highlighted areas that are highlighted in green will sit here and bounce as you're putting flakes of hay into that bale. Okay, so if it ties a bale out, these are gonna go all the way to the top and it'll leave a little line there where it tied them out and made a knot. If they don't drop back down and one stays solid green, then it's hung. So you can actually tell whether it's hung or not even before you get an alarm saying that you got a knot hung in the building. So that sensor that we were talking about on the slack arm, the upper slack arm, that's what drives this indicator. We replaced the wiper arm here, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna fix his problem with this second knot hanging up on the bill hook on number four. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this baler back in the field and, and tonight and see how it works out. And we'll, uh, we'll check in with you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you, uh, hope you got something out of this video. And just remember to always uh, take a good look at those wiper arm adjustments when you're having knotter problems. Good enough? Larry the Tractor Guy. Huh? Larry the Tractor Guy, signing out. <laughs> Put my shades on. <laughs> hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burned. Y'all already burned me out. He's sitting in a sun over here, man.